to Mama Fox Books Storytime Saturdays. I'm children's author Phoebe Fox and I'm so happy that you joined me for this read aloud. Today we're going to be reading the book Grandpa's Game Room. This was written by Barbara Renner and illustrated by Michael Hale. Let's get started. Grandpa's Game Room. Jack skips every other step as he races downstairs. He remembers the cool basement air, the tinkling piano sounds, and the dusty wood smell. He's finally big enough to play Grandpa's games. That looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? He runs his fingers along the edge of the big table and pokes his hand into a corner pocket. Grandpa, let's shoot some pool. They high five. Remember, Jack, it's not pool. It's called snooker. What's the difference? Snooker has solid color balls. I'll show you how to play. Jack chooses a cue stick and twists chalk on the tip. Make a circle with your finger and thumb, place your hand on the felt and move the stick back and forth. Now tap the white ball. Click, crack. Jack's eyes sparkle. That was fun, your turn, Grandpa. Grandpa places his hands on the table. He bends forward, he lines up his shot. Click, crack, plop. A red ball drops in the corner pocket. I wish I was good like you. How did you learn to play snooker, Grandpa? Professor Garibaldi hops a poppin' butt screen taught me. And lots of practice. Do you think that could be him in the picture? Maybe right there? Who? Is he real? You made him up. Grandpa winks. They high five. Let's play again, Grandpa. Jack jabs too low on the cue ball. It jumps over the edge and bounces on the floor. A brass pot tips over. Clink, clank, clunk. Jack catches the ball before it bounces again. Sorry, Grandpa, his cheeks burn. Good catch. I think what we need is a little music. Grandpa inserts a roll labeled the entertainer in the player piano and flips a switch. The piano keys magically move up and down. Music fills the air and Jack snaps his fingers. Grandpa, I challenge you to a game of bowling. You're on, they high five. Jack can't wait to push the puck down the lane and make a strike. Do you remember where to aim, Jack? I sure do, between those arrows. Watch this. He shoves the puck down the alley. Swoosh, ching chong, ding. Wow, I got three points. It's Grandpa's turn. His hand covers the puck. He eyes the lane. He pushes, swoosh. Ching chong, ding, ding, ding. Numbers flip, lights flash, a strike. You beat me again, Grandpa. How come you're so good at bowling? Professor Garibaldi hops a poppin, butts green taught me, and lots of practice. Are you sure you didn't make him up? Grandpa winks, they high five. Let's play again, Grandpa. Jack wraps his hand around the puck. He slides it back and forth. He hurls it toward the pins. The puck speeds sideways to the edge of the machine. It spins airborne and breaks a lamp. Oh no, Grandpa, I'm sorry. Jack's shoulders droop. It looks like I'm lousy at bowling, too. I'll never be good at anything. He slumps away.
The piano stops playing. Jack takes the roll out and has an idea. He adjusts the bench. He cracks his knuckles. He lines his fingers on the keys. Da 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 dum. When Grandpa hears the musical chords, he turns to look. Jack, how did you learn to play the piano so well? Maybe Professor Garibaldi hops a pop and butts green taught me. And I practice a lot. Jack winks. They high five. The end. Can you wink? You have to close one eye at a time like this. At the back of this book, it has a little tribute to John Allen Farr by the author. It says, the grandpa in grandpa's game room is based on my dad, John A. Farr. He was known for his sense of humor and was quite the adventurer. He and his buddies in Michigan belonged to the polar bear club. Every year from November to April, they took the polar bear challenge by swimming for 10 minutes once a week in the icy waters of Lake Huron. After he moved to New Mexico, my dad found a new set of buddies who enjoyed playing a billiards game called snooker on his snooker table in the basement. In turn, he taught me, my brother, and later his grandchildren how to play. Always ready to tease the grandchildren, Grandpa would pretend to pull off his thumb, hide surprises in an old cigar box, and talk about his imaginary friend. Professor Lucifer Garibaldi, hiya papas, Trans, Transawiaskia, Herazigagog, Butts Green. I shortened the professor's name in the story so it would be easier to say while reading. And then there's also a little bit about the game of snooker. Snooker is a billiards game that was created in 1875 by officers of the British Army stationed in Gibraltar, India. There are several differences between snooker and pool. Snooker tables are larger, but the pockets are smaller and snooker balls are smaller than pool balls. British snooker is played with 15 solid red balls, six solid balls of different colors, and a white cue ball. American snooker balls are the same colors as British balls, but the six different colored balls include numbers, indicating their point worth. What are some favorite stories about your grandpa? The author wants to know, and you can reach her on her website which is www.rennerwrites.com. I hope you enjoyed this story, Grandpa's Game Room, and that you'll join me again for Storytime Saturdays. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon. If you liked Grandpa's Game Room, you might also enjoy Grandpa's Cigar Box. This book was also written by Barbara Renner and illustrated by Michael Hale and is a Mama Fox Books Storytime Saturday book.